Hey, it's Olay from Photo Lake Photography. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to convert um, your 110A, 110B Pathfinder or any of the 800 series cameras to take um, Polaroid pack film like so. It's not uh, a hard process, but I'm going to kind of share with you the easy steps on how to do it. I'm not going to actually show you because um, it does take about a day, a full day or two days to do this so I just don't have the time to actually convert another one yet. So, But I'll share with you on what you need. Um, first you need to find yourself a Polaroid back. Um, these can be picked up on eBay or online anywhere. Um, the trick is to find a uh, Polaroid back that actually fits a medium format camera. This one is uh, for a Hasselblad, um, a Bronica or uh, a Mamiya or something like that will work. All you have to do is remove the screws that actually um, fit the format of the medium format camera. So most people think that this won't work, but all you have to do is just remove the screws and you'll have the Polaroid back that will fit perfectly into one of these cameras. Um, so once you get a 110B camera and you want to convert it, all you have to do is actually remove this entire housing back here and it's very easy to take apart. It's not as tricky as what most people think. Um, the door hinges here come off very easily. All you have to do is take a screwdriver or a hammer and pull the little hinge here. Um, the door hinge on this one is the same thing. It's just a little metal piece that goes right here. Let me just remove that. Um, this section here will just come right off and the hardest part on this camera to get this to fit the camera and you're going to do some drilling and you're actually just going to cut away at this section here which is your front section because once you have that cut this piece on the polar back has to fit flush with the face or the camera back. So you're going to have to do a lot of drilling. Um, it gets a little messy so make sure you have uh, a clean environment that you're willing to trash. Um, I did this in my office and after everything was done I had a lot of stuff to clean up. So do it outside. Um, my first test I just hacked this entire piece off like that. But my second round, I uh, actually was a little bit more careful. Um, I kept the front piece very clean. Um, this took a lot longer since I didn't want to mess up the front section. Um, so you just have to cut evenly and get this to fit flush with your camera back. So the other thing that's in you have to remove that didn't realize until I actually start testing the actual camera. There's this black piece right here that sits right in front of the bellows. You're actually going to have to peel that apart. Um, it's, you know, soft metal, uh, but you're going to have to take a, a screwdriver or a needle nose pliers and just tear that apart. And then you'll actually want to clean it up uh, with some tape. But um, that actually, by removing that, it will help your Polaroid back be very flush up against where um, the taking length is going to be. So those are the things you need to do to convert your camera. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Olay at photolay.com. 
Um, I will also put uh, a link down in this video to uh, a gentleman that I found on Flickr. He actually did a conversion and he had photos for uh, each step that he did. So that with this video and his tutorial, hopefully that will help you get in there um, to convert your camera to take uh, Polaroid back. So good luck and share with me uh, your results.